Hi, my name's Matt, and I'm going to show you a few features that uh, are on the Ultimate Boot CD. And uh, what I've done, I already got the uh, Ultimate Boot CD in the in the ROM and uh, configured it to boot up from CD. So it's loading right now, and uh, you'll go through a few splash screens. And generally, it takes uh, about 10 minutes to actually fully load the Ultimate Boot CD. So once you get it going as far as you know to this stage you can leave and come back because all of the defaults will automatically uh, be accepted and uh, after 10 minutes if you don't hit any buttons it'll it will load uh, to the uh, XP environment without uh, any any hitch uh, having said that uh, you can you do have a, a bunch of different options and within it like that first splash screen that you saw it was blue um, I can run a mem test from there. Uh, there's a uh, password cracker, I believe, from from that screen. So if you uh, give it a, a up or down arrow during those screens, it'll stop the timer, and you can go into those tests without actually having to load up everything and wait that long. So it it gives you uh, some flexible options as far as that goes. And the next screen, it shows you uh, multiple different shells you can boot into. I've never booted into other any any shell other than the default shell, um, particularly because I never had a reason to. Uh, and honestly, I don't know what they're uh, they're they're used for. So if you want to boot into a different shell and show me something, great. Um, but I don't really have the time to, nor the desire, since uh, I'm still learning all the things I can do with the Ultimate Boot CD. So it's starting to look a little bit familiar. This kind of looks like XP. You got your uh, typical start button and uh, it's still kind of loading. Uh, like I said it takes about uh, 10 minutes to finally get there. Uh, but once it pulls up, uh, you'll see you'll see a message. It says, "Do you want to start network support?" And uh, that's a big question. It it just depends on what machine you're working on. Do you want this th machine to be on your network? Yes or no? Um, I typically say no all the time. I say no. Uh, there's a rare occasion I'll say yes, um, but I, I all the machines that I'm getting are virus ridden and malware ridden and that's definitely not uh, something I want to be on my network running rampant so um, having s with, 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 with that uh, option though um, you it's pretty neat to be able to boot into this environment and, and go out to Google and research something real quick so it it, it works very well with Dell's um, I've had a lot of success with that uh, network support with Dell's, not so much with some others. Um, so if you're working on Dell's a lot, that's a nice option for you. All the drivers are pretty much pre pre-installed. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to open up um, just one of the file explorers. I open up the default MS Explorer, and uh, I'm going to show you that you can in fact open up uh, the C drive and copy files out of somebody's profile. So I didn't type any passwords or anything like that to get into Ultimate Boot CD, and bam, there I am. I'm snapping open uh, mBramer. That is uh, my login. I logged into this computer right before I did this, uh, and I have domain admin credentials on this whole network. So um, I'm just gonna hop into uh, into this profile and copy uh, a few files over to the O drive which is a partition that I have already set up just so you can you can see for your own eyes that you can in fact copy out of somebody's profile using this ultimate boot CD so there you go I'm just going to go ahead and paste uh, it's this really nice tool if you um, are working on a computer and it's extremely slow or viruses d 
disable the right click button, any type of crap like that. You can get around it by getting into these uh, Ultimate Boot CD and uh, creating a backup. You can um, before you uh, actually boot to CD. If you have your USB drive plugged in, um, it when the Ultimate Boot CD uh, comes to this screen, it will recognize that, and so you can take your videos, your music, your pictures, and copy them on over that way. So I just went on. I clicked on Start. Went up to Programs. Um, there's a bunch of tools installed, as you can tell. Um, there's uh, like six or seven antiviruses that you can run and this is actually the best way to do it if you um, are booting into XP to run a, a virus scanner uh, you've already crippled yourself if you think you're 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 infected by a virus you really n can't start Windows in order to uh, get an accurate reading you have to actually boot into uh, a different operating system so uh, that virus doesn't have a chance to even load and uh, this is the best way to do it and uh, I'm showing some other tools this uh, that was a reg edit uh, I'm just gonna walk through that I'm gonna show you uh, that you can actually use this reg edit remote and with that you can load up a uh, a user's profile uh, and and edit it directly you can see Embramer there I'm just going to load that up and uh, you make all your reg edits accordingly. Uh, it's pretty slick actually. It's a lot of uh, flexibility as far as um, you know being able to get around uh, a few things. Good or bad. <laughs> okay, next thing I'm just going to walk through a few uh, of these. I'm not really going to explain too much of them because a lot of it is getting in there and just figuring out what the uh, programs actually do. A uh, big one that I use is uh, the net networking tools. Um, I use the uh, SSH a lot. Uh, there's a put it's part of the putty client. Um, there's IP sniffers, all kinds of different stuff. Um, I don't get into all that. Um, but you can if you want. Um, like I said, there's tons of stuff in here, and I'm st I've been using it for maybe about two years. Uh, this this environment, and I'm still learning uh, all the other stuff that I can do with it. Well, this has just been a uh, taste of what you can do with the Ultimate Boot CD, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, look for more in the future.